Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today, what we're going to do is um, we're going to incorporate a couple of password generators into this password management system. What I do is I manage accounts on the system, like say if I like I have an account, and it's like got the account, the URL, the login, and the password. Well, up here I have what's uh, called a password generator and what that lets me do is it allows me to put um, the number of characters I want in my password it generates it it puts it into the clipboard and there's what comes out it's pretty neat you can run it as many times as you want you come up with like a whole bunch of passwords this way and I think it's suitable I mean it's pretty cool every time I hit the button it comes up and puts it in so how does this work what we're gonna do is uh, we have other tabs too that need this and we want to incorporate them into these other tabs but I want to do a little bit of design work but hopefully this doesn't take too long um, I'm going to get out of it. I'm going to go into my developer tab, my visual basic tabs, and we're going to get it started. We're going to get it popping. Okay. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to take, the, we set it up as a sub function. So, what we're going to do is we're going to modify it to be used on another page so I'm going to go into module 2 as a matter of fact to keep consistent with the sheet I shouldn't have built a new module for it so I think I'm going to move it to module 1 And let's see what we got. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I, I hope it still works. Or I might have to put option explicit at the top. It forces us to declare all variables, that sort of thing. All right. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to run this just to see, make sure it still works. Debug type error mismatch. Okay. Let's just start the debugger. All right. So it works. All right. So it still works. Now we need to replicate this for the other pages so I don't have to flip back over to this so why not why not let's do it ladies and gentlemen we're gonna see what we could do here we're gonna go and in back into our developer tab visual basic um, let's see now, is there a way I could use the same? Uh, I'm trying to determine how I could do this. Um, I'm going to paste it into module 2, which deals with the second area. And I'm going to change the name to RAN2. And then before we, uh, I'm going to work on the user form a little bit. Let's see here. I'm going to take these items and I'm going to move them over to the other pages. I'm going to copy and paste them. It's just real simple copy and paste. So I'm going to control. And I'm going to 
move them over to the next tab or copy them to the next tab. All right, and then we're gonna make it work for two. So what that is, is text box 13. So I'm gonna go back to module two and change it to text box 13. And change this to see our text box 12. So that's gonna be a little backwards. So we have to designate. All right, and um, see so it's going to pretty much do the same thing um, change that to text box 12 and we need to see if we could call this function from that button so let me go back here on toasting we're going to call we're going to go to view code section and yeah call ran two I think that'll do it always save your work as you go alright debug user form and it, it, it'll kick an error back so I'm going to try something here I mean uh, it'll, it'll bug out if uh, if I don't put a, um, a value so I have to put a value there and it generates it works like that so we just replicated a code that simply now this button here, I want to work on that. That's just my copy button. So let me take a look at that. Um, let's go there and look at the copy button. All right. Now on this form, going to view code we're going to basically put a text uh, let's see here and I'm going to set it to text box 12 which was the uh, what we had in in that form so it's real easy to, to replicate your stuff across the uh, board in Microsoft Excel using VBA. Now let's run it and see what we got. All right. So I'm gonna generate. What is in the clipboard? We're going to check what's in the clipboard. I'm going to generate another one. And it's beautiful the way it works. I mean, it generates. And while I'm at it, I may as well replicate it again. So we're going to replicate this code again. So I'm going to go back over here and edit it. And while we're here, we'll be able to take a look at the code and explain a little of what it does. Um, we we call it a sub function. We declared length as integer, characters variant, x is long, string is string. 
uh, str string. We pulled the length of the user form one text box 13 value. And uh, you know what would be cool? If we declared, like when we open the user form, let's see here, let's look at the code for this. View code, view, view. Let's see. Um, so we, we call ran, we call ran three, and all that stuff. What we're going to do is um, we're going to go ahead and replicate this code on the third page. But back to what I was talking about. All right. It, it checks for the length. Length must be greater than zero. Sometimes that error message comes up. Sometimes it don'ts, as we've seen. Um, then we have a bank of characters, which is the array, and we just spell out all the characters in the alphabet, all the weird, uh, random, you know, all the, the special characters and everything that you would want in a password. And then we select the random characters from the bank by using X. X is going to equal one to begin with. Two. They're gonna. It's gonna. It's gonna do a, a kind of a for loop all the way till it reaches the length, and it's gonna randomize the character it picks and add and, and adds another character and so on and so forth, and then it just repeats this process until it reaches length. Then it kicks the user form value will be the new password. And then it puts it in the clipboard. That's what this code does. So we're going to replicate this code again. And we're going to take it to form three. I mean, it's very portable, very transferable. And we're going to make some changes first. I'm going to go to the form. And uh, I'm going to select um, all these items. I'm going to copy them again. And when you copy these items, let's see, we're going to paste them. We're going to paste them down here. All right. Let me got. Uh, and we gotta we gotta identify the text box. So our pass password length is gonna be text box 14. Text box 14. Text box 15 for the password output. Put text box 15 put in the clipboard and um next I'm going to take this code and put it into the button for this code all right so it looks it looks good I'm going to delete module 4. No. Save my work. And we're going to go ahead and test it on the, the site tab. Okay. Um, we didn't assign that button properly, so we need to go back and fix that. We need to assign the buttons, and then we should be done. And let me get about here. Um, let's see here. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Okay, we need to. That's one thing I forgot to do is set up the functions in these buttons. Let's see here. I'm gonna start there with my copy button. All right, the copy button is done. Okay, now I need to uh, 
view the code for that and I need to call ran three and that should do it. When I right click, um, it pulls up my form. Let's see, 12 sub function not defined, really? Let's go take a look at what's going on here. I don't know why I'm getting error messages on this. Let's see here. Okay. There we go. That should do it. This will stop the debugger. All right. There we go. It works. Just a few simple mistakes and I got it. Um, different password generators in this program so that um, I'm able to set up shop in different locations on the web and like keep track of all that information um, that's really it that's really it in a nutshell uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching uh, support the channel subscribe like share this with a friend if you found it informative or beneficial and hey thanks for watching have a great day.